Time means swimming, but not everyone knows how. In fact, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says African American children are three times more likely to drown. News Channel 9's Jerry Askin has shared his own fear of the water with us, and now he's finishing up swimming lessons to overcome that fear. Jerry invited us to join him for one of those lessons. Jerry, how's it going? Well, Josh, Latricia, I have a while to go, but I'm doing pretty well right now, but I still, again, have a ways to go now. You can see kids are here now for their swim classes, and in just a minute here, it'll be packed with kids in this pool for their swim classes. But I want to share with, with you all what I've learned about kids and minorities when it comes to swimming. Typical day at the Warner Park Pool in Chattanooga. You can see how much fun these kids are having. And while doing so, these kids of all ages and backgrounds are learning how to swim. Three-year-old Kari Reedus will tell you. You want to learn how to swim? Yeah. Why? Because I know how to swim. Many parents of these children signed them up to protect them from drowning. Regardless of race, one in five drowning victims are children. Because I think their parents never learned how to swim, so they don't really understand the importance of of learning how to swim. Michelle Reedus has a three-year-old and a six-year-old. She understands how valuable it is for her kids to learn. So they'll be able to save their lives and possibly the lives of someone else. For veteran lifeguard Kevin Hayes, helping kids and adults in the water is a passion. Well, it helps me make sure that I'll have any victims later on in life and also just pass on a lifelong skill that they will need when they get older. The reasons why African-American children are more susceptible to drowning are unclear, but there are theories. A lot of African-Americans, especially women, can't swim because they worry about their hair, which I did for a very long time. It's true. And not having access to pools. Shante Williams has enrolled her two children even though she never learned to swim. Well, over the years, I fought learning. Um, basically just fear. After 25 years, I took on my biggest fear and hit the pool, taking lessons myself. All right, clutch. Good job. And not only can many kids not swim, a recent study proves that nearly 40% of adults can't swim. From learning how to kick my feet. There you go. Nice and easy, Jerry. There we go. To working my arms and breathing properly, I'm now at least more comfortable in the water. taking on a skill many adults fear. You never know when you'll find yourself near a body of water and it's always important to know how to protect yourself or save yourself in the event you find yourself in an emergency situation. And again, you're never too grown or too old to learn how to swim now. My goal is simply to make it from point A to point B without drowning, but again, if you want to enroll for classes here, just head over to newschannel9.com. For now, we're live in the Warner Park Pool. I'm Jerry Askin, News Channel 9. There he goes. Thanks a lot, Jerry.